Yep, I found a winery in the winter. And sleet and sleet and sleet and sleet. So how inconsiderate of ownership property management staff are you? I was a seed, they tried to bury me, I rose from the tree. Yo, who was showing me that my friends was really folks? Man, we did. Picked up that Torah, then I started taking notes. Hello, yeah, I once was weary, but I came back home. I found a winery in the winter. I will always find something to do. I don't care. I need to clean my situation. Is that better? A little bit. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting looks weird. It is, you know, 4 30, about to be sunset. I ain't got no overhead lights, as you know. But if you don't know, yeah, I ain't got no overhead lights where I live. I got a lamp all around here, but nothing overhead. So I'm so sorry about that. And my shovel. Because it's cold out. And we got a shovel. Our way out to get to where we need to go. So, you would have thought, because I just came back low-key from my mom's crib, and you would have thought I was moving out tomorrow. The way I have had to clear my bathroom and my kitchen. Now, mind you, bathroom is done, whatever, whatever. I have an organized system to the point where I just have to put the bins back on whatever they're going to do. But apparently, the apartment complex, mind you, I left yesterday, came back today. There's a letter on my stoop. They don't call nobody. They don't answer the phone. Anyway. Apparently they're doing new painting for the cabinets. They're not replacing them. They're not, they're just painting them and putting new fronts on. Apparently doing a new countertop, whatever the case may have you. I don't really care. Nothing they can do at this point will make me stay. And they're trying to have like renter benefits too for travel and discounts. You know, you're only going to give 12% out. It's going to be $1.25 off a hotel stay. What is that supposed to do? And for a person that's a traveler, I don't like that. Give me a discount. Anyway. <sighs> I'm so, you know what? It gets to a point where the old me would have had her voice already 10 octaves higher. And I would have been cussing. I would have been yelling. I would have did the whole daggone thing. But the thing is, when it comes to me, when I don't care anymore, I don't care. So I'm going to be calm with the situation and do what I have to do. Mind you, it gave me a chance to, to me, kind of downsize a little bit, throw some stuff away. But it's just like, and also, I uh, every time this happens, which is not a lot, <laughs> they try to, you know, clear the heating filter for the winter and all. Cool, whenever they come in, whatever. What we're not going to do is not have my place completely as it is because last time and I still have the photos I'm this is an example of what they did to my apartment they never said to clear out anything they just said they were coming in to do miniature stuff or whatever cool 
but they decide just to do this to my stuff. Mind you, the boxes that you see, they were all intact because I do keep boxes for when I have to move again so that way I don't have to fuss and fight with other boxes. I just put the stuff back in the boxes. But anyway, I'm so... irritated I'm like here because I was supposed to be doing my day of rest because I couldn't the past couple days so for me I feel like they're playing with me with God because I have to do this I can't have my day of rest because y'all told me and not even tell me y'all left a letter on at my door not even on my door at my door at the bottom and say, oh yeah, we're coming in tomorrow to start renovations. Now, mind you, the person I share a wall with is handicapped. <laughs> they did, They still didn't even get the letter. So how inconsiderate of ownership, property management staff are you to not even consider that the person that is ADA, that can't do anything, needs to call people to be able to help him or her. I don't know if it's him or her. I just know that they're handicapped. <laughs> Or disabled, I should say. Excuse my language. Don't mean to offend anybody. Like, are you joking? You really think in a day? And I know that the same thing probably is going to happen to them like they did to me last time when they tried to mess with the kitchen. Like, I really... <laughs> Low-key, I have people that I can literally go to to get resources to find out who I could sue. And I really don't want to even play the world like that. I don't like, I just want to be let go of this place. Because all I have ever asked, and this goes across the board, what, wherever I'm at, home, work, school, I don't care. Just if I have something going on, if I have an issue and so forth, if something needs fixed, I'm not one of these people that are just like, um, you need to do it like within 48 hours. No, just because I'm faster than you doesn't mean that other people are as fast as me when it comes to getting stuff done. I get that. All y'all had to say was, yes, we're eventually going to be renovating these places. I know that your stuff is basically falling apart and you're paying a grand plus for rent. Plus utilities, plus trash, plus, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... And I, d I was not even even remotely close to paying that much uh, going on three years ago. So yeah, I'm done with this place. And if I do have to pay a grand plus utilities, plus parking, plus doing all this, all of that, I might as well go to a place that is completely renovated. I actually, you know, I didn't even put two plus two together back then, but I would say like a year and a half where I got in, the person that was in here broke the lease like staying here after like a two month so I already practically just took over her lease there was some reason why she didn't want to stay here either and I totally get it now and mind you you know it's just like I already know this place is going to have come up bits and they've been doing it residents are moving out left and right and good for them because nobody is going to pay that amount of money I'm saying for here it's expensive I understand that other places get <laughs> double triple that of rent but the way that they pay us does not allow any renter place to be double triple than what it is now because they across the board where I'm at they do not pay okay so I'm just saying that halfway done with the kitchen I needed to take a break because I, just, I kept stewing about like, wow, like this is really supposed to be my day of rest and I'm not even supposed to be rest and I can't even rest. Like that stuff upsets me because I don't want to displease God, but I don't want them damaging stuff that God gave me. If that, you know, that makes sense. You, does that? <sighs> I just needed to get that out. Okay. So, I, and again, I do not feel safe enough for anybody to be in here without me. Mind you, it's a week 
that I, they better get it done within a day because they, <laughs> I'm supposed to have a couple, few days off that I was looking forward to. And I just may go back to my mom's and just avoid this whole situation. I may do that because this is ridiculous. Or get a hotel. Don't know how I'm getting a hotel, but because hotels are triple than what they were. I get good news one day and then there's always something that brings somebody back down and it's just like I'm so over it so let me continue my short break and then clear the rest of the stuff out that I need to clear out and mind you they said that non-perishables in the refrigerator because evidently we're getting a new refrigerator First off, everything in my fridge is perishable. So yeah, you're going to have to take everything out. Because I don't know even which day. Because it said it's coming. They're coming one to four weeks. But they're starting tomorrow. So it's you have a four week time period for them to do it. But they're starting tomorrow. But it only takes one day. Yeah, so just know if you are having issues with your property managers, your staff, your place, I get it. Just, just know I get it. And I hope I never, ever, ever, the next place that I go, that I go, that I move to, is going to be a place where I stay until I get a house. Until I move in and someone splits the rent with me. Because I'm not moving anywhere and I'm not moving back to the areas that I was already previously at that gave me complete hell. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, there is a video called The Caretaker's Nightmare. Go watch that because I've been telling people that I wanted to, you know, air out some things. And in that video, I kind of did. Not to the full extent that I wanted to. But I did. Go back to that video and you'll see why. I never want to go back to where I was living prior to coming here and I will only upgrade from here. I'm never going to downgrade my living arrangements. I never have and I never will. So but yeah, let me take this break. I feel a little bit better, but it's still it's still irking me. Okay. Y'all. I can't make this stuff up. Like, do you hear the stomping and the chattering? Okay, so right here, I'm going to display what just happened not even a half an hour ago. I had to run my heat to make the vent dry, but whatever they're doing upstairs because mind you the person that was upstairs that were doing all the stomping whatever already moved out so wasn't even here six months like this is ridiculous so i don't know how people are breaking their leases so quickly or if they're just letting people go but maybe i should inquire to be honest with you because i don't think i could last until next year but um yeah this is what just happened not even half an hour ago. Why is there always clogging, flooding, dripping, leaking? Why? Just... I had to stop recording because the outside contractor is gone, but the property manager people is here. So he came... And just let me know that the vent is encased in metal so it shouldn't leak anymore. Okay, they can shut off my water. I don't care. Just get it done. Repair it. Don't know why it needs repaired anyway because you completely renovated the upstairs, right? Okay, whatever. And I can't wait 
to show y'all the before and after of this place because they never redid my ceiling in the bathroom because it was cracking. My tub is bowing. I'm not a heavy woman. So the fact that it's bowing, you know, no one cares. But they're putting a new mirror and vanity and like fixtures in there. Refigure and redo the drywall. Again, that's just crumbling apart. But you're going to paint the cabinets, put new fronts on them, but you're not going to paint the kitchen. You're going to give me a new fridge, but you're not giving me a new oven. I've never heard of somebody doing only half renovations. Cutting corners, if you will. But, like, this is not even the last straw. The last straw has been a year ago. So, is what it is. <laughs> Whenever they get it done, I will show you guys because I don't care anymore. And at this point, it's pretty much insurance for me and protection for me because I'm recording it in real time. No, 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 no. Y'all not gonna say y'all did something when y'all did not. As y'all can see, I got the gloves on. It's freezing, raining outside. It's a 43 outside. No, it is in the 30s with the wind chill. Child, I'm not. This winter, I, no, no, no. Just wait because I'm a little ahead when it comes to the videos, but just know one of these vlogs is going to be a snowstorm vlog. Okay, so y'all know what type of stuff I'm dealing with, but hopefully God grants this area a mild winter. We we be doing good, but I don't I don't know at this point. And it, this stuff is rocky. You see the back windshield thing going on. I never use that thing, but we're using it today. Anyway, I hope y'all day is going good. And plus with the renovations that people are doing at the crib, uh, eventually I'll show y'all because maybe I want to do a complete uh, new decor situation. I'm not sure yet, um, but we'll see with that. But yeah. I'm not doing nothing else. I just wanted to pop on here and say hello to y'all. <laughs> uh, because it's going to be a very cold day. It's been. Because I already know with the people with the renovations, they've been leaving the apartment doors open. So I already know it's cold. I turn my heat off because there is no point keeping my heat on because they leave the apartment doors open. Like that's secure. people that kick rocks <laughs> at this point they can because I'm gonna even show y'all an example of a in brand new install stainless steel I, I don't know how do you how do you install something already scratched the hell up So yeah, hopefully because it's cold that they either just don't come in today and I can have peace or they're just going to have their muddy shoes everywhere and I'm going to have to mop and clean. I really don't like talking bad. This is the curses that people be talking about. But they just are rude, and it's just like for me when someone's rude, I bop, 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 you know what I'm saying? I just wanna, oh, oh I just wanna. I'm not. <laughs> because I keep telling y'all, please have God ever tell me I could be one of, I don't know if they're woman warriors or whatnot back then. I don't know if they fought, probably not, because 
with scripture it always says men go to the battlefield whatever that women stay back and do it but if he don't change but he probably since he don't change it, it wouldn't um come to pass but just as a person that has so much built up because i'm enduring so much <laughs> Cause Lord, oh, I want to bomb ooh, ooh, with these people. Ooh, ooh, Cause people don't understand where I come from. People don't understand the faith. People don't understand that y'all can't keep continuing to mess with me. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so serious. Cause the earthy part of me, square up, homie. Facts. Like, dead ass square up. Yeah, people be forgetting, bro. <laughs> oh, I have it though. And last thing before I say anything else for the rest of the vlog with these stink people attitudes, it should be reversed. <laughs> because people that are really going through something that want to do the two-piece combo with people <laughs> because you fighting so much stuff spiritually so you just want to in the physical you need a box or something to me they're therapeutic but it's getting to a point where i'm gonna need some i'm gonna need to box out some and people can't drive in the rain i for i completely forgot what i was saying because people don't know how to drive can you go, please? Is as soon as it's not clear out, people don't know how to drive. Now, mind you, I know how to whip a car, and I've been for many, many years because of the condition that I have to drive in, which is feet and feet and feet and feet and feet and feet. And feet up and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep of rain so i'm thankful because i don't understand because i i haven't lived in an area where it's one inch of snow and y'all close everything down what what huh because, but at the same time, I get it because cities like that didn't have enough preventative care to be able to handle, you know, extraneous weather, inclement weather, if you will. So I, I can't blame y'all, but at the same time, I don't. Y'all need to be little wusses about it. I'm just saying because I'm in a. Right now, I'm in a feeling of if y'all, <laughs> if y'all haven't been through what me and the people around me have been through and my loved ones have been through, y'all can't say nothing to me. I'm sorry. When it comes to hardships, nah, bro. Because I have to talk, I have to talk a certain way to people and to y'all sometimes I feel like because y'all don't be getting y'all don't be understanding I'm just saying not y'all as in the viewer I'm saying the masses y'all like real naive to the to the ish y'all real y'all either know and just don't want to pay attention or y'all really naive to stuff and y'all so surface level now it's just like where what Y'all have no substance about yourself. Y'all have no depth about you. Like y'all haven't been through nothing. Like, um, now I'm not saying that people don't go through stuff. Everybody goes through stuff in a certain extent. But when it comes to those that believe and truly turn to God and so forth, there's nothing comparable. When I tell you God be on our necks, the demons be trying their hardest and then you got to battle not displeasing God fighting the demons doing this and doing that it is not a cakewalk and I'm just warning people now I'm not trying to deter nobody 
but if y'all truly want to be in this situation you understand that stuff is going to come out of left field right field center field all the fields okay they're coming at you with full force the harder you rep god the more ish is coming your way i'm just letting y'all know so if you truly not afraid and you truly with the stuff come on in i challenge anybody come on i challenge like i said challenge anybody come through try it and then y'all will truly understand where i'm coming from because i'm awfully misunderstood i've always been misunderstood in the world but you know now that i'm out of it oh i'm oh i'm real black sheep now i never understood why you know people misunderstood me and this that and this her but it got worse turning to god it sure did but it is what it is hopefully my treasures are up in heaven hopefully my currency is up in heaven hopefully my people that i've lost my friends that i've lost my dad that i lost and anybody else <laughs> I just hope that they greet me with a warm embrace and everything like that. But see, I didn't even attend this little section of the vlog to be like this. I just wanted to say hey and then ended up doing a whole spiel. It's one of them days, y'all. One of them days. So I'm not picking up the camera for the rest of the day. I'm not doing it. So I'll see y'all either tomorrow or the next couple days. Bye, y'all. I decided, hey, since I got a new TV, I know I didn't update you guys, but everything will be probably shown here and there in pieces. But my old TV, I wanted to actually put in my bedroom. Mind you, I haven't had a TV in my bedroom for years. I've only had the projector for a couple years, but... It started doing like a whole buzzing thing so I said why not just get a, another TV stand so I can prop my old TV up the new TV is in the living room and so forth so you'll probably see a quality change with that if I ever show it but enjoy me building this thing because when I tell you I thought this was gonna be so daggone simple ain't got no tools it's just screw on, but the way my strength is set up, yeah, I had to make shift a lot of stuff towards the end. <laughs> so enjoy. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit too. One flash, 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 From the trenches, east and west, your who have built our bridge. Use the rock, they rejected, we gon' build it big. Ruach sent the measurements, we gon' build it quick. Scripture be my brew, HD, yeah, it made me rich. Relationship to franchise, value like the Knicks. Your who are headlights, no, I cannot trip. This our first marriage cup, we gon' take a sip. This that real love, kill, brew, I got you. Yeah, that Ruach got me quick, no, I love you. All day, every day, we gon' ride, boo. Yeah, that rule, I'll keep it quick. Yeah, I love you, too. That's my baby. Drive me crazy. Do you special? My beautiful lady. That's my baby. Drive me crazy. My beautiful baby. Mm. As y'all can see, I was struggling with this build. It ain't even got no tools in it, bro. <laughs> I was like, mind you, it's not like the strongest of things so like with my strength like I have really strong like arm strength so I can lift things you know and things like that I had to hot glue gun some of the pieces together is what it is I have had furniture 
with two bum legs before and it has moved with me for years so this was a little alternative situation for the winter i don't know if i will keep it or not but i like the finished product now all i need to do is figure out where other pieces are going to go because I feel like I was building this for like several hours but it wasn't even really that long but it made me mad that I had to use my glue gun whatever let me show y'all okay And they've been coming there probably since, you know, San Francisco was started, right. mm -hmm. whenever they could get there. There's a little tiki. Someone's building a tiki. What am I saying? Tiki? Teepee? Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I got miniature log cabins. Why is it warm? My people used to do it big, y'all. So where my people used to live. Doing it right, feel me? Except for this dumbass tree. I rebuke all trees. Dag nabbit. Especially these type of trees. And you know what purpose they are used for? Ugh. Welcome to my house tour. It's like, no. Well, I'm not surprised where I'm at. I'm really short, y'all. Just in case y'all don't know that. I'm not sure. So, let me show you my living space. Got the doorway right here. Got my walls. This is my backyard. Ain't that nice? Sitting area where I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Another side wall. Who are you? Why, why are you set tripping right now? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and apparently this is my bodyguard. Apparently. We are doing the Missy twist out today it's just is what it is because this is the after work hair i did not care to be presentable because after this week i'll say that so i wanted to have this portion of the video be a haul because i needed some retail therapy oh please i've got an item no, I'm not going to try anything on this go around, but I figured I share some pieces that I got during a sale. One of them is a boutique that is local to me and they were closing down evidently. So I wanted to just get a one on one type of piece. All the other items are from Forever 21. They did a 50% off all of the store. So, first item is, you guessed it, <laughs> if you know me, I love the fur, okay? The fur is where it's at. This time, I got it in a trench form. Mind you, I haven't been really a trench girl in a long time, but when I saw this, with the collar, there is a button down here that you can detach, and it just is the regular collar. 
love that this is the original tie that comes to it mind you no that's not gonna be me i added my own belt from michael kors i've had this for years now so yes we are going to look fabulous when my hair is done and all of the things and i just had a vision for some reason to have this beret a part of an ensemble of some sort so this ended up only being five dollars the jacket only being 30 and this isn't going to be a part of the ensemble but this ended up being an 11 dollars purse because everything again was half off i love me some denim now to me it's a more of a winter thing because i don't really like it in the summer now that I don't really wear jeans, pants, that sort of thing out, um, only like to lounge or like work out in. So, yep. Gonna replace the denim jeans with other denim items, <laughs> like the boots that I got and now my purses. Last item is this handbag. Do you see the handle detailing? gold hardware yes this this definitely cheered the mood back up because with this renovation that these you can't say nothing nice ash don't say nothing but just know that i am undergoing a time period where um, my living arrangement has gone from debilitating to even more debilitating. Can't really do anything around the space as of now because they are doing half renovations. They're not doing the whole room, but they're doing half the rooms and it's, it's a whole thing. If you haven't been catching up with that journey, just look at my previous videos more so in the section of vessel talks that's what i have it titled as of now i don't know if i may change the title i'm not sure but yeah when you are a follower of god you are going to be tested like no other and i took it upon myself to actually show in you know certain time periods where i was you know either tested or going through something because i know that it is you know a test of the world just trying to get me to go back in it and I'm not so just let that be known but given that it is a brand new week I'm going to end the vlog here and of course continue on with the Saturday weekly upload so you can always catch up on my shenanigans and so forth per usual you already know the like comment and subscribing you know that helps creators and it would help me a ton so until the next one, take care.